Hi there, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a membership website using webstarts. Before I do that, I wanna invite you to tap the subscribe button and also ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and similar topics. To get started, we're going to be using webstarts.com. Webstarts is a website builder. I use it for three reasons. One is it's easy to use. Two is it's extremely flexible, so you can create a truly original design using Webstarts. And number three is it has a lot of capability, a lot of functions like, for example, the ability to create a membership website. So I've gone to webstarts.com and I click get started. It's free. It's completely free to create a web starts account. In this next step, you'll be asked to choose a design. All of the templates displayed here are 100% customizable and they can be changed at any time. So you can't make a mistake by selecting the wrong one. Over here on the left side, we have some categories that you can search by as well as search what's most popular, what's new, and you can even search through the templates by keyword. For this demo, I'm going to be selecting the business category and I'm going to be in the consulting and coaching section. And then there's a template in here that I want to use for this demo. So I'm going to find it. All right, I'm going to use this members only template. It's actually under the advertising and marketing subcategory. I click select to select that template I would like to use. And in the next step, I'm going to enter my full name along with my email address. Once you enter your email address, you'll need to choose a password that you're going to use to log into the site and click sign up. Now this next step, you're going to need to verify that you're an authentic person. So you'll enter your phone number and then you'll confirm the code that's sent to you via text message. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here and then I'll meet you on the other side of that. I've entered my information to confirm that I'm a real person. And in this step, I'm going to choose a website address. This is the address that people put into the address bar in their browser in order to find your website. So right up here is the address bar. And you have two options here. The first one is completely free and that's just to select a dot webstarts.com address like you can see there and then over here you can choose what's called a top level domain name that would just be something like your very own dot com so you could select a dot com dot net dot org whatever you you want from here if you select that option you're going to need to upgrade to one of the paid subscriptions before the domain name begins to work with your website so for this demo i'm going to stick with the free option i'm just going to call this membership website demo two. You can also select choose later if you just want to skip this and come back to it at another time. You'll just be assigned a random address. Click continue and you'll be able to move forward. All right, now that I've completed the sign up process, I'm greeted in what's called the dashboard with a pop-up modal. It has a video that walks you through the basic things you need to know to get started creating your website with web starts. I suggest that you watch it for this demo though. I'm just going to close it out. This is my dashboard view on my dashboard view. I have a drop down menu where I can select various websites within my account. I can also select the option to create a new website over here in the top, right? I can do things like add my own avatar or profile photo and manage my account with settings and billing and domain information and things of that nature. Down below, I have a link to my website. So if I click on that, that shows me what my website currently looks like when I'm online. And below that, I have a few options, edit site, add domain, which we talked about a moment ago during signup, and then upgrade to a paid subscription. And then below that, we have all of the apps that you can use along with your website. If the app panel is gray, it means that it's not enabled. If it's blue, it means that it's currently enabled. So currently this template has the ability to upload files and folders, of course, it has the ability to post blog posts, and I can assign roles and permissions. 
And then if I wanted to activate any of these other modules, all I need to do is click on them to activate them. All right, I'm going to show you how to edit your membership site now. So you're going to click on edit site by hovering over the thumbnail to your page. This next view is called the page editor. In the page editor, you can select the various pages of your website using the drop down menu in the top left. So if I wanted to edit the about page, for instance, I could select that from the drop down menu and then the about page is loaded into the page editor view. If I want to create a new page, I can do that just by clicking on new page. I can create a new page either from a blank page or I can make a copy of an existing page. Down here, I give up my page a name and then I click create page. I'm going to close that out for this demo. I'm not going to be creating any pages. But what I am going to be doing is showing you how you can designate certain pages on your website to only be accessed by a member. So I'm going to select a page from my dropdown that I created. It's called members only. And in my members only page, I provide some content that I only want to be accessible to people who are members of my website. On this page, I have a widget up here that says sign up and log in. When people click that, they're provided the option to sign up and create a membership account, or they can log in to a membership account that they've created previously. All right, let's go back to the page editor view and show you how I did that. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just delete this existing sign up and login widget, just to show you how you can add it to any page. Next thing is I come to the sidebar, I click add, and I scroll down the sidebar and I find the membership widget. This opens up what we call the membership application wizard. And in this, it starts out with a question. Would you like to make this page accessible to members only? Well, my answer is yes, because I've named this page members area and I only want it to be seen by people who are logged in and are members of my website. Once I select my answer, I click continue. And the next page, I'm greeted with another option. Choose the page from the drop down below to send your members to after they log into your site. Okay. So where do I want my members to go if they log in, regardless of the page they log into on my website? Well, I'm going to select the option for members area because that seems sensible, but you can designate any page of your website as the page that someone is sent to after they log in. I click continue and I have another question. How do you want to approve members? I can approve members either automatically or I can manually approve members using the membership application, which is found on the dashboard. So for this demo, I'm going to be selecting the option to manually approve members so I can show you how and where to do that a little bit later. I click continue. And then in this last question, it says, would you like to add a member login widget to this page? And my answer is yes. If I didn't want that login widget or sign up widget to be on this page, then I would have selected the option no. I click finish and then my login widget is placed onto my page. I can then select it and I can drag and drop it wherever I want it to appear on the page. It's important to note that I'm dragging it to a section called the header. That's this section that is highlighted currently in green. The header is the same at the top of each one of your pages. We do this so that you can place your business name and your logo and your menu and other things in the same place on each page of your website. We also have a corresponding footer that functions in the same way. So when you're creating your website, if you create a new page or you duplicate a page, you'll never have to fumble around trying to get each page to have elements in the same position on every page in the header and footer. They'll just automatically be there. The part that will mainly focus on changing is this body area that's between the header and footer. You can learn more about that by watching the getting started video that we closed out at the beginning. All right, now that I've made all my changes, well, I want to make one more change. I want to change the text color of my login widget to black. Now that I've made those changes, I'm just going to click save page. 
Okay. I can view the changes that I made to my page by clicking view site, but since I made this a members only page, it should require me to log in before I can view the page. Okay, so now I'm greeted with the option to log in using my email and password that I don't have yet. So I'm gonna click go back. And this is gonna take me back. All right, so I'm gonna go out to my home page and see what that looks like. All right, when I click on login from the home page, I'm greeted with the option to log in. And when I click sign up, I'm greeted with the option to sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sign up for I'm a member of my own website here. My email address and password, I click sign up, and then I verify that I'm not a robot because there are little things on the web that uh, sign up for things automatically. All right, so then I received this message that says, hey, these memberships are approved manually. Okay, I'm gonna acknowledge that. So I can't get in yet because I haven't been manually approved. Now, as a site owner, you're going to receive an email notification letting you know that somebody attempted to become a member or signed up to become a member. You're also gonna receive a notification in your dashboard. So I'm gonna go back to the page editor. I'm gonna click on the return to dashboard link. Then I'm gonna call your attention to the notifications up here in the top right. And you can see that there's a notification. You have a new membership request awaiting approval. Okay, I'm gonna click on that. And that's actually gonna open up the membership app. I also wanna show you how to find the membership app if you're not clicking on the link in the notification. All right, if I scroll down here, you can see site members. That's where I find that app. Okay, I can approve the site member by clicking here and I can manage the site members in this view as well. So I can do things like I can edit their name, their email address and their password they use to log in to their web start or their website. I can also add a new member to my website manually by clicking on this option. And I can edit the email address from which member notifications are sent up here by clicking on this little edit icon. All right, so one of the things that you have to keep in mind about members is that in order to manage and approve the members, you do need to be on a paid subscription. So I do recommend upgrading if you get to this point. You're definitely gonna want to do at least the Pro Plus subscription because it's going to give you access to the features that you need to be successful online. And it's a very small investment uh, for what you get. There's a lot of value there. And if you're really in business, you're definitely gonna make that money back. Uh, it starts from less than $100 for the entire year, or you can even sign up month to month for $14.32 right now. Okay. Let's go back to the dashboard. I click on my drop down menu up here and I go back to my dashboard. And here, once again, I have all of the things that I need to access my website. All right, that concludes this video on how to create a membership website using Web Starts. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell and leave comments and questions in the fields below and sign up to create your very own free membership website at webstarts.com and I'll see you next time.